This series is brought to you by our patrons. Want to vote on our next game and receive a custom Couchling illustration? Consider becoming a patron. This month's Couchling's Choice patrons are Coyote, The Bombardiers, Call Me Fluffy, Jessica Nichols, Waspix, Red-Eyed Critic, Grinning Gamer, City Morgue, Victoria Valentara, Your Majesty, Sente, and Rayasaurus. Hey guys, welcome to 10 More Minutes. I'm Chris. And I'm super excited, Sam. And we are playing Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Oh, baby. I've been waiting for this for a while. Thank you so much for voting on this. Couchlings, patrons, thank you guys. Sam has been wanting to play this since it came, well, since before since it, it came Since it got out. announced as a Kickstarter, I've been wanting to play this game. Yeah, for at Koji, least a year. Igarashi, and the composer from Symphony of the Night, I am so down. Let's get into it. Let's do it. So Miriam. We're going to go with Miriam. You know what's funny? Miriam is the same name of the uh, witch girl in uh, uh, Wonder Song. And oh. I gave her my Jersey accent. Jersey. <laughs> Too bad there's voice acting in this game. Yeah. Hmm. Industrial, Industrial Revolution. Revolution. Let's see. We're, I'm going to try and not talk too much because apparently people get really mad. <laughs> if you talk over the first story blurb, what? Okay. A horde of demons spilled from the shadows. <sighs> Someone didn't take geology class. That's not where demons come from. <laughs> They look really cool, though. They do look yeah. really nice. I really like that, like Iron Fearing Golem. The yeah, the Iron Golem. It's just, it's a cool aesthetic too, given that old kind of uh, sketched look. I wondered if they wanted to do like Albert Durer uh, relief sketching, like uh, from the 1800s, and they're just like, ah, oh, that's way too much work. We can't do that. They sacrificed the hmm. shot. That would have looked really cool too. So through the gates of the world open to okay, so people that were like uh, alchemically combined with crystals and stuff. Know the church okay. sacrificed, I guess. In sacrificed order to, in order to yeah. In, so they did that to vanquish Helsin. Yeah, and I don't think it worked. Okay. As for the shard binder, they were presumed hmm. to have all died in the sacrificial rite. Good job with the perspective, guys. It's not bad. <laughs> How do you fuck up a sacrifice? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But I do think that that guy in the back is maybe the alchemist from before. Oh, but, what, what one was that one called? Uh, I can't remember, but uh, Gebel uh, is blood, your... Blood Side of the Moon or Blood Something Moon? Uh, this is Ritual of the Night, so yeah. I think it's... What was the prequel one? Bl uh, I can blood look at... Of the moon? Blood, blood of the Moon? Blood of the Moon, I believe? Bloody Moon? Bloody we blood. actually did play the prequel to this where Gebel's in it, kind of your Alucard equivalent. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys want to check that out, too, we played that last Halloween. It should be in the Spooktoba it's got playlist. Its own, uh, it's got its own playlist, too. Yeah, it's got its own playlist, too. That game was fun. Miriam was in the first one? Miriam was in the first one. She was the blue sprite. Gebel was, I can't remember what sprite color he was, but he was the one that could turn into a bat. Um, there was also the samurai. Um, yeah, the main guy, right? I think it was Gosetsu. No, that's from 14. Um, Sasuke. Was it? <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't. It's, it was something Japanese, but I don't remember what. Um, and then there was the alchemist, but I could have sworn he was an old man. I swore he was an old dude too. But maybe I don't this know. is like a second generation because it's it, been it ten years. Be. Instead, so. Um, or maybe we just assumed it was an old man and it wasn't. <laughs> could have been. Oh, that looks so cool. It really does. I'm really liking the art direction for this game so far. That's kind of cell shaded. Yeah. Johannes. Johannes. Oh, thank God we get a break for the. Uh, get a break from voice break acting from voice for a little acting. bit. Not that what we do is voice acting, but <laughs> it's this. I don't know, like two and a half hours of doing a voice. Okay, it's voice acting, but it's not good. It's not high quality. It's not. It's like the lowest tier. I have been told I have the best Zote voice, though. <laughs> I would. I would agree. I don't know if there's much competition there for it, though. Hey, team chair, if you want to hire me for Zote, I'd, I'd totally be down. <laughs> I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to, there's no forgiving it. Sorry for making you strong, I guess. It was their transgression, not yours. I think the tattoos too are the crystals taken over their bodies. I'm not sure. Obviously. They do look um, they do look crystalline. Yeah, very uh not art deco. What's the word I'm looking for? Stained glass. Mm, kind of yeah, like yeah. your church mosaic stained glass look. We need to focus on the task ahead. Stained glass is like a soft spot in my uh in my heart. 
I do like stained glass pieces. Zelda's incorporated a couple times, like in the Minish Cap, and I've always liked when they've done it. Oops. He was my best friend. Oh, is this the guy? Uh, would it be a spoiler to say what happened in the first one? No, because it was a prequel, so we're, you're supposed to know this information. Okay, so the the main character, the samurai-looking dude, yes, uh, turned evil. Right at but the is, very God. What happened in the secret ending? Oh, I can't remember. We did unlock the secret ending, though. Yeah. Because I went through and played it. I really enjoyed playing that game. It was a lot of fun. It looked hard. I wish I had the. It wasn't too old bad. school hard. Yeah, it was a little bit, but they they've uh, massaged some of the mechanics. Mm -hmm. Advanced, arcane. Arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Mm -hmm. That's that's not creepy. Not yeah. creepy at all. I see. His magic is he just You'll kissed her awake fondled. like a uh, Sleeping Beauty. Fondled her yum yums. <laughs> Your yabos. <laughs> I knew it. You're Sorry, fully guys. cleaning. <laughs> fucking fucking uh, uh, Halloween just ended, so of course we had uh, uh, what is it, the Sanderson sisters movie with the three witches? Uh, oh, Hocus uh, Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Yeah. I actually <laughs> saw that for the first time um, last Halloween. I'd never watched it all the way through. It's actually way better than I thought it was. It uh, it failed. Economically in the uh, movies, I believe, oh, and yeah? then it became a, a classic. Ah, uh, so like the good old movie, Good Burger. <laughs> Cult. I, I don't know about that, but yeah, Good Burger's great. Oh, I geez. will defend the shiznaz out of that film. I'll take care of the tentacle monster. <laughs> Got him. Uh, oh no! You just stabbed him a million times. What are you doing? Shard, a chrysalis form of demon power, cannot be handled by any ordinary human being. Uh, fine. Conjure I guess I'm not shard, ordinary. Press Y to trigger a projectile magic. Magic attack. Cerulean splash launches a bouncing ball of water. Hmm. Uh, no, it was just a magical blood piercing. Isn't he the one dagger. who's supposed to know about shards and alchemy and stuff? Um, probably he hasn't seen oh. shards work because he wasn't part of the experiments. I don't think. She sounds, ah. she sounds like she's into it. She does. I do like the voice they gave her, too. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who the voice actor is, but she sounds familiar. Let me see if I can find it. Hmm. Oh, so the crystal's like experience. Okay. But she's corrupted by its power, I guess? I guess so? <laughs> That's so... Like stop penetrating yourself! Don't do it! She knows, she knows her limits. <laughs> she do you? Do you, uh, Miriam? She looks, she looks sassy about it. Oops. <laughs> Damn you. Trigger finger! Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you I like his little book. Yourself. I do too. I feel like they spent less time on retexturing his face, <laughs> though, oh, unlike hers. <sighs> Which is fine because she's the main character. I would hope oh. that her textures are super oh, nice. Oh, my friend. How do they get inside? Everything looks really sharp. Even like the, the rivets yeah. on her clothes. I like the extra sharpness. It kind of gives a definition to the lines. It just feels like they didn't do that for his then character model. Mm. Maybe I can, I can oh, kind of see a little of that. A little bit in the face. It's not bad. A little softer. Yeah, it's a little softer. <laughs> maybe, well, I can't really say. Maybe they did it because... I think probably uh, time constraint or maybe because he's not in the game bone, too much. Bone structure, maybe? Uh, it could be. Or they might have just spent more extra time, a little bit extra polish on the main characters that they know are going to be in a lot of the scenes. Yeah. Galleon Minerva. So, yeah, I've been excited to play this for a long time because I am a huge Symphony of the Night fan. And when I heard the lead composer from Symphony of the Night and Igarashi were making a Kickstarter and it actually turned out good. Mm. Oh, baby. Press A to jump. Hold down A to jump higher. Okay. What's the hold down? Uh. Is uh, it just saying you can tap jump to get like a half jump? Oh, okay, okay. Nice. I was like, I don't see any difference between your jump heights. That's cool though. Like you can do items. like little hops or big hops. That's good. I'm digging that. Magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. Talk to uh, the hand door. <laughs> take that. It's a weird mechanic, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, yeah. Maybe it's... Uh, got some significance later. Yeah, maybe it has some kind of combat significance, like if you don't want a door to open up. Or maybe you can close a door and then have enemies. Whoa! Oh, big tentacle ooh. monster. 
Little tentacle monsters. Little tentacle monsters. Sorry, bud. I'm getting you off my ship. Leave. This kind of reminds me of the beginning of Final Fantasy 14. Does it? Yeah, back when the beta first started. Um, way back when it was a terrible game. Oh, oh no! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, oh, that's right. That's you start out on a ship and like Leviathan's attacking it and you get sworn by like those creepy crawly type monsters. Gale crawler? You said it's something about a shockwave. Was that another oh. power-up thing? Yeah, I'll have to look at that. I'll look at that after I uh, check out this area oh. right here. I'm, I'm noticing You can the... get me, Hoppy! Oh, oh. oh that, that I'm noticing that in the bottom right hand. Ooh. Whoa! Level up. Nice. I'm uh, I'm noticing that in the bottom right hand corner it says uh, stuff like adding stuff to the archive. Okay. Like demons and stuff. So it looks like they have a bestiary type deal. Interesting. Gale oh, so Gale crawler. crawler. Create a shockwave that travels across the ground and rips enemies apart. I'm gonna go with that one. I like it better than having something that. Conjure, arcs. manipulative, directional, passive, and familiar. Ooh, condition. Okay, cool. So that's something to look out for. Your condition is good. Oh wanna... wait, it might say something like poison or paralyzed yeah. or something later on. Because you do have items and stuff to use outside of combat. Well, you probably use them in combat. Oh, okay, too, cool. So this is like your yeah. compendiums and stuff and let us know what we're fighting. Nice. Ooh, I like that animation. That's really cool. Looks like something from Metal Slug. Huh. I'm digging it. I would like another Metal Slug, although there's I a ton would. of them out there and we I haven't was... played all of them. We've only we played haven't. the first. We only played what? Metal Slug 3? Two, I Two? think. Two yeah. or three? Uh, yeah, Metal Slug is great. Um. I really wish instead of Terry Bogart, they had chosen a uh, Metal Slug character for Smash. Oh, SNK characters? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get why you choose Terry. He's the leader. He's the oh. biggest SNK character there is. Oh, stay back, stay back. He's Oh, he's winding up got for him. a swing. Um, the hell? But we got man, bronze. it would have been <gasps> amazing to have a Metal Slug character and have the hobo pop out. I would have. I mean, I don't have Smash. Uh, right, but we can do. play it whenever we want. But, um,. God, they have, they, have, they have a special place in my heart. Yeah. Um, I think I've only played three of the games, but I grew up on playing them in an in a, uh, arcade in the, uh, I think it was Pizza Hut. Ah. Um, one of our local pizza places. Ooh. From my studies, I found the existence of the following attributes. Okay. Slash, so there's elementals thrust, and stuff. strike, fire, ice, thunder, light, dark, poison, curse, and stuff. So there's only three status effects of of negative stuff, oh. like poison, curse, oh. and stone. Mana roses, MP recharge. Okay, that makes sense. Right on, I like nice. that. Nice. Wait, wait, there's a down thing. Do you want to go down or do you want to go back up? Uh, I want to get this chest over there, look at the top thing with the Metroid map. Oh, 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 yeah, on the top right. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. But it's funny, uh, Symphony of the Night was something that I'd heard about for years. Is like, oh, this is this amazing game, you have to play it. Um, I think it might have been one of the first Metroidvanias I ever beat, and it was around when I was about 20, mm -hmm. I think? And my brother had, my brother didn't have a copy of it, but he had it on his PlayStation. He had the PS1 Classic or whatever for the PS3. Yeah. So he allowed me to share his account, and I got to download. And I just, oh man, I dived deep into that. I, my uh, my first Metroidvania was Hollow Knight. This is the property of Hollow Knight. You can't have benches. <laughs> Save progress. We're in for a good game. If there's benches, everybody mm, loves a bench. Everyone loves a bench. Oh, oh, it even looks oh. like it's a bug-like creature in the background. What was that? What was with the orbs? I think it refreshes your health. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just its way of restoring. I get ya. Woo! Oh, oh! Is there fall damage? <laughs> um, there's no fall damage in Symphony of the Night from what I remember. It would make sense to me that there was no fall damage. Because Hollow Knight doesn't have fall damage either. Well, I, I don't think it's a very stable thing. What the hell is that? Oh! So uh, maybe certain types give certain right? shards. Yeah, no, it's usually not a, a trend. Okay. Because yeah. there's so aim, much up and down. Activate with R trigger and cast magic towards the aim direction. Flame cannon launches a fireball. Could you happen to use it there? Okay, so that's what this is for. It can kind of Whoa. aim where your thing is going. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's a casting uh, aura. I'm Take, not, you're I'm out. Beat. You're out. You gotta use a, a, a shard use of thing. mana rose thing. What do they call it? Uh, a mana rose. Mana or rose. Or shard oh, it of looks rose? like it recharges. Also, that's cool. Over time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like one every I second. I dig it. Um. Oh, buddy. that's a chest. That's a blue chest. Or maybe that's just like a, a coloring effect. It might be. Um, but yeah, Symphony of the Night kind of introduced some of the 
staples of a Metroidvania. It kind of it took the concepts from Super Metroid, mm -hmm. um, which is you know exploration and kind of choosing your own path and going different ways and power ups, but introduced a lot of RPG elements such as leveling up and uh, you know different magic attacks, upgrades and abilities and stuff. Upgrades and abilities in Zelda like things. It had familiars and different things that Alucard could equip uh, to enhance his character and different ways to play the game. I think you could do different weapons in that game like this. Um, oh, that's right, because we saw earlier that you had, like, boots or something, kung fu shoes or something under your yeah, dagger. Yeah, like, so if I equip this... Oh, wait, you can, can, you can equip two. Yeah, Unless, it, won't, uh, it won't let me. Maybe, maybe it's for later on. I think later on, maybe you can equip two weapons, like a sword and a shield or something. Yeah, okay. So, different... Looks like uh, you have more reach with the kicks. Yeah, a little bit more reach, but I think it uh, forces you to be up close. Whoop. I mean, as compared to, what, a dagger? Yeah, of course. I, I guess you're the right. dagger's a little short. Oh no, somebody should fix Chun this Lee boat. Kicks. Oh, double. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, go behind him. Oh, <laughs> maybe not behind him. That seems like it might be the more dangerous spot. Oh. Level up. Um, nice, took I him didn't, out. I didn't see that you leveling up brought your uh, MP up at all, so. Probably that's, not. You had full health already? You have SP rounds? Yeah. Now, whatever, halite. Oh, so there's, there's crafting or something in here then. Oh, Bronze, that's right, there is sugar. crafting. There wasn't crafting, I think, in Symphony of the Night. It's been a long that time. That makes sense, though, like back then. Yeah. Although, I guess it was kind of a staple for Final Fantasy back then, too. And huh? I've only heard good things about this, so it's really nice to see that a Kickstarter project went off well. Yeah. Um, this is awesome. I really want to play this. Yeah. It. I am super excited that you guys, finally, you guys and gals finally chose this game, because like Chris said, it's been a game that I've been wanting to play for a while, but our schedule has been really deep. Yeah. Um, and now you made us do it. And now you made us do it. So I'm super happy. Yeah, it was uh, it was either uh, going to be Blasphemous or this game. And uh, Blasphemous won out in the uh, vote that we had on the community tab. Um, but you guys, you Couchling patrons, voted for it. So now everyone gets to enjoy both. And you've been persistent because this has been a contender for a while, for a couple months now. And oh, yeah. you guys finally made it happen. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's awesome, guys. What is in here? Archives, a journal, more book, flashing air oh. kick. Oh, God, you got combos. Oh, but it's for, the, it's for the Kung Fu shoes. Yeah. It also says something about dance shoes, too. Okay, I'll look at it in a they, second. They use your uh, magic. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It looks cool. like it uses 15 magic. That's boss. But, uh, yeah, dragon shoes and I thought it said dance Kung shoes. Kung Fu shoes Kung Fu and shoes dragon okay. shoes. And because All right. 15. All right, that's get cool. Get your quarter circles in, boys and girls. Mm hmm. Dang. I, I bet you get some for dagger then, and you get some for any other weapons and stuff. Probably, but they might just do it for these type of weapons because it's a fighting game thing. Um, But maybe they do. I hope they do. I'd be down for some quarter circle stuff for. Other stuff like a like a Hadouken, like a Hadouken, like in Mega Man, tattered scarf. Does Ooh. it change your character model too? Yes. I love when games do that. I do too. So it looks like the county dress doesn't change it. The country dress. Country dress. Common. Oh yeah, because it's it's probably just common stuff. Yeah. But when you get other stuff later on, it probably changes. It I up. know that they said there's a way to customize her look too later in the game as well. We're actually playing this on the oh, PC because maybe you go to like a like a hairdresser style where you get to customize hair color and other stuff. Probably too. I love that they put that in there. I like yeah. it when you can customize your characters and make them a little bit of your own. I really like that too. Um, the only one Ooh, I can think of bench. right now is uh, Final Fantasy 14 and 11. Yeah, <laughs> which literally had the hairdresser, and that's why I said that one. Yeah, but uh, well, eleven, you can never change your character once you picked well, your model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I meant like the customization oh, originally, and yeah. then when they put it in fourteen, Final Fantasy fourteen, uh, they added the hairdresser, and you could change everything, and that was one of my favorite. Uh, I I love that aspect that they of it. Did. Cause then I could like change things up to match my outfits or my gear and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's like this is awesome. Cause Four sometimes times. you'll start with Ooh. like, uh, like a redhead mm -hmm. character, and then uh, you'll get all like, I don't know, purple gear, and you're like, ah, I kind of wish I could get purple or pink or green, well, you thanks, know, to, to <laughs> thanks go to with this those. system. You totally can. This is awesome. Yeah, any game that, uh, one of the cool things they're actually doing whoa. in 14 whoa, 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 is they're whoa. pretty much getting rid of all the gender restrictions for gear. That's um, awesome. So they're trying to make it as inclusive as possible, which that's nice. Well, um, it's, it's also uh, something that I dealt with uh, with Final Fantasy XI, uh, I played a Mithra class, which was only allowed to be female characters, but I played it because of the stat boosts. Uh huh. Um, and also, they were total fucking cuties. So yeah, yeah, they are. But the, the ah! fact that I could uh, play a male Mithra—what are they? Not—they're not, they're not called Mithras. Makotes. 
or McCoats or whatever. Get um, over here. I swapped right over to that once they did that in 14. So it's it's nice to see that they're opening it up so they're less restrictive on what can do what. Especially because they had a couple of NPC glamour items you could buy off the store. Like, mm. for instance, Thancrete has a special armor from Heaven's Word. Are we or... missing a treasure chest back there on the oh, back to right. your left we on are. the bottom? Um, it should be up in this area. Oh, we can't oh, get up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We must get a double jump because I saw a, a platform that looked like it was outside of your reach before also. Yeah. It's very much Hollow Knight-esque. It has, right there's going to be Ugh. tons of power-ups and yeah. tons of stuff, even more so than Hollow Knight. This game is much well, more uh, customizable. Let's search everywhere on this dang boat. Yeah. This dang biggly boat. So that's our map, our classic Metroid map. I'm What's gonna go with the up orange? and around. Orange is where we've been. No, but I mean, like, you see how it looks like fire around your character? Is yeah. Is that just, like, your, where you've been in the last 10 seconds or whatever? I think so. It looks like a, like a heat map or whatever it, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's using it as a nice. heat map. That's okay. really cool. Um, um, I've seen that a lot in, in uh, Shadow Play and stuff where they have oh. a heat map so you can figure out where you go. I want to kill this awesome. guy. What the hell is that? It's... Oh, maybe you got to use, like, a special element. Maybe. Probably you not the Thunder Wave one. Maybe the water? Because it got ooh, him. There you go. Archives, demons. Sweet. Or you know what? It's in the archives for the demons. It's not just called the demon. HP Although rounds. when you killed that one, it was called the Cannon Morte? Uh yeah, I think so. The other one didn't look like it had a name, did it? Or did I miss it? Holy oh. shit! Okay! Gross! Kick I... attack, corner circles! Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think you can go through stuff. Oh, you didn't I think you only had twenty two at the yeah, time. Yeah, that's Although you only need fifteen, so. I'll have to remember that I can do that in this yeah. game. Take when you're fighting. fighting multis. Yeah, take my fight. Ooh, Ooh, sword, claymore. Claymore, all right. Well, you can't do your... Uh, Short sword, claymore. Two-handed? Oh. oh, that's really slow. Okay. okay, maybe that might not be your style. Might not. Yeah. What's a short sword? Get your Looks like a little card. bit more range in the kicks, maybe? Yeah, and a little bit more damage. And keep in mind that you can't use your combo, your your quarter circle, uh, if you don't have your shoes on. Or whatever, what are they, the comfort shoes? Right. That's okay, I'll try this one for a second, see how it does. Yeah. See how much damage, bam! It's really not that much more. No, it's I not too much. I think you get much. three more uh, kicks out. I think you get three kicks out faster than you get the two double blades. Oh, but that was quite a bit. That was cool. Oh, do you think enemies have weaknesses to, uh... Oh, that's a like good point. Like slashing or blunt or, or what do they call it? We did see all those different things, so yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Man, I miss when games do that. Mm-hmm. Whoa! I know why in MMOs such as 14, they don't do that anymore. It makes sense because you're trying to Balancing balance issues, the game. Yeah. May, I, I get you it, got a but... Hand but one of my things... Oh, 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 oh not dead oh, yet. Oh, oh. Uh, maybe don't use that sword. <laughs> sword kind of... It's a little, it's a little slow. They don't level up or anything, do they? No, but you can get better ones. Okay. I saw, like, attacks and attack damage uh, numbers and stuff on them. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if that levels up with you. Um, I, don't, I doubt it. But we'll find out. Ooh, chest. I'll you take got, that. You got potions and stuff, too. Oh. Muscatoon. Ooh. The gun can be shot by equipping a consumable. That's what the bullets okay. were. Okay. When you run out of the type of bullet that was equipped, something, something. That, ooh, okay. So. It, when you run out of bullets that are equipped, it probably. Infinite round. There. Or... That's what the second item is for. Okay. Damn. So if you're fighting bosses from range, you can use the SP rounds. Is that the infinite round or is that the? This oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, see this it on is the infinite round. The left side of your uh, under HP, under the roses. Yeah, it's got the infinite, infinite symbol. symbol. That's tight. It doesn't do much, but it sure stun locks some. Yeah, it stuns locks. That's at cool least, though. At least on these beginner guys, I'm probably it probably doesn't stun lock, but it probably uh, as soon as these guys get hit, they go into a stun lock animation. I wonder if you can change mid combat too. Uh, I'm, what did it? Let's go to the little dictionary thing. What did it say about it? Uh, archives. archives. Would it be techniques? Uh, no. It'd probably... Oh, that's cool though. If you read stuff, you learn the techniques, and then it techniques goes in learned. there. Perform up three spinning kicks by repeating the same command. And I already oh, mastered it. It's a mastery. No, no, no. Okay. I don't think you have. It didn't look like it was filled. Perform up to three. Maybe okay. it's like a challenge thing. Like you perform three in a row on an enemy, and then it counts as a mastery condition or something. Well, I'm gonna do that then. Oh. Well, you're gonna need at least 45 uh, MP. You have it, so. Okay. But everything you're going to fight now is going to die in one or two. True. So that'll probably be like something you have to do for we a boss. We already explored this area, so I think yeah. we need to... Is that a secret room in the in the mid-bottom? It is, I think. Let me save, get my yeah. HP back really quick. 
There we go. So let's see. Which one are you pointing to? This uh, one right that, here? Yeah, that like. Let's see but if I don't we see can... a way in. Yeah, I don't see oh, one either. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, what about a cannon? Was there a uh, cannon we didn't, we didn't, uh... Oh, there might be. Because the cannons was blowing holes in the wall. Okay, going down, going down, going down. It looks like it'd be down. right to the right. Try beating up that wall or something. Oop. That's oh. only two. Writhing limb. You got two of those now. What the hell? It's... Oh, you know what? That wall looks like it's it's breakable. Look at how it looks different. Yeah. There you Bam! go. Bam! Breaking down walls. Big old 1, treasure. 1,000 G! Ooh, max nice H MP Max MP up. up. What I was it before, like 100? I think so. Ish, something I like that. I do like... 98, uh, something. I kind of like the old school... I mean, it's very reminiscent of Symphony of the Night, but the way the text kind of flows, oh. that old PlayStation-like RPG look to it. How do you mean? Like, the way the text kind of flows around when it does the MP max up. It just reminds me of some old school games from the PlayStation. Oh. Got him. You dead, son. You got iron and bronze. I'm gonna check and see now. Okay, yeah, the mastery's going up the more I use it. Okay. All right. That's cool. So it makes so your weapons don't level up, but your skills do. The more that you use and utilize stuff. Oh, that's a push to get up. Yeah, that's smart. Make it so it's like, hey, dummy. I, <laughs> I kind of wish thing. they had a uh, animation for her pushing stuff instead of just the running into. Yeah, that would have been nice. But that, I mean, it looks kind of silly. It does go look kind of silly. You know, but whatever. all right, that's a, it's our one gripe so far. Not a big deal. Oh, oh you can go up into the mass too. Uh, above you. Okay. Well, once you're, just keep in mind that when you leave the screen, yeah, I think enemies gonna be... respawn. Okay. Um, oh. Cause you killed, you went backwards through the area that you exploded with the cannon and that big dude was back. Got it. Um, it must be a way so you can grind out stuff if you need to or... Yeah, that makes sense. If you're seeking out gold or maybe a mastery or something. That way yeah, you don't... Yeah, master something yeah. and uh, That makes sense. Is it... It's swinging, so you want to okay. when it comes back to you, yeah. Gonna wait right here. Unless there's and like an air jump. Oh, got it. Very nice. Okay, making my way up. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Ooh. You gotta wait for the. I still don't even know if you're gonna make it. Yeah, not even close. There must be a second jump because we're seeing stuff that looks like it's gonna take two jumps. I imagine. Wow, we gotta be able to come back here unless yeah. this is. Ooh, oh, that's probably a boss. Right? That looks like a boss. <laughs> I'm gonna check out other stuff Let's first. Let's go back to that one. Oh, you know what? Shockwave. If you can return back to these places, maybe you don't get the double jump here. Oh, you're right. Maybe you uh, get it later on. You might. We'll keep on exploring the rest of this stuff. So um, it shows. Open up the mini map if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Let me save that really quick. Mm hmm. I, th I swore I saw mm. a wall that was similar to the one you busted there earlier. There is something we can go up through here. Let's make our way back. I think that's back. a double jump one. Is it looked it? like it was a platform because you started over in that area. It was a platform kind of like the little ones that you've been jumping up to go up, up right. on the board. Uh, but it was too high. Well, That's maybe... why I think it's... See how there's that one right there? Yeah. There was only the top one. That's okay. why I was... Yeah. That means we just got to go through here then. Yep. All right. Let's uh, let's come back next time where we... Yeah. I assume we fight a boss. I think so, yeah. <laughs> that kind of looks like a boss door. I'd we'll, assume so. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Beep, bop. Ooh, Miriam's a fucking cutie, dude. She is a cutie. Oh god, everything says new on it. Oh, Rice more seed and stuff. Do you make like food to boost you up? I think so. I think crafting's part of it. Because you got corn seed, rice seed, potato seed. Oh, maybe there's like a sword. gardening Ooh, system. I love sword features in video games. A branch. God. Yeah. That...